Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's your water, baby? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a water, baby? Are you guys actually needing to make a decision between two people? Two situations, two circumstances to cut two motherfuckers off that you're very passionate about. <laughs> hey, boo head, this is first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell the cards say. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Hey, boo, hey, to the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. However, we leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We, in, we evolve. We... I think I said share already, but y'all, posy vibes only over here, all right? To the return of the family members, hey, boo, hey, did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm working on getting my uploads out of the way. I'm getting ready to go live with air signs as I was not able to do their elementals. So I'm going to actually uh, make it fair by doing all three of them live. So don't cut me this month, Pisces. And I don't want to hear, oh, Mocha, why you ain't just do Pisces live? Why you just do that? Stop. Don't be like that because I was just live with you all. Okay, you guys, this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Please take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big and you try to put that motherfucker on and your ass fall, because that's what's going to happen. You're going to fall. Then it wasn't for you. Don't be obsessed with some shit that's not for you. You think about enough shit. You don't need no extra shit to think about Pisces. Damn it. Now, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the Sun of Pisces for the month of October. Um, this girl is trying to somewhat be on time. I'm late, but I ain't as late as I can be. So let's just say thank you, and we're going to keep moving and praying, all right? Um, you guys, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description box below, all right? So let's get into it. Intuitively for Pisces, you guys, I, I'm actually hearing boss up, boss up. Some of you all I feel are in this energy of not knowing what's going to happen. It's like being like like being in a damn theater and sitting on the edge of your seat, okay? Others of you, I'm feeling this energy of something regarding your transportation. Some of you guys could be hearing positive news about transportation or you could have been experiencing some type of transportation issues coming out of the month of September and going into October. The second week the second week looks damn good, damn good for positive news around transportation. So this could have to do with the rental car for others of you. I'm actually hearing down payment. So some of you guys will have enough for a down payment. You'll also have some type of assistance with that if you choose to let somebody in who you really mad at. You cut them out. Cut, cut, cut with the with the, with the clippers. And you didn't really know how to let this person in. Really this person know how the hell to get back into your world without, you know, dropping some, spending some Pisces. Because I feel like someone really wants to apologize to you. Someone um, equally wants to balance the situation out as much as you do, but I feel like someone I keep hearing in my bag. In my, in fact, I'm hearing I'm in my bag, bitch. Uh, I'm on your ass, bitch. Uh, I'm in that new new shit. So some of you guys could also be listening to Megan The Stallion a whole lot. I I listen. I second that because I definitely made up for my lack thereof of a hot girl summer. I ain't getting no booty, but I twerked enough at the casino on the boat. Man, I drove the boat, so I had a good time. <laughs> you guys are definitely in this childlike energy. A lot of you all are playful. Some of you all I'm feeling very heavily for my Pisces men. Some of you all may be in this space of kind of battling between your shadow self and that of you of the light. Some of you guys may be, I'm hearing um, temptation. So some of you guys may be tempted from something or something or some type of behavior um, that's going to kind of take you back as far as Test your growth a little bit. Test how far you've come as far as your ascension because some of you all are overthinking a situation that really doesn't take. It's not going to, once you actually, because some of you all are, you're not really listening to your inner knowing Pisces, man. 
I feel like some of you all are trying to control situations and spirit is really trying to remove them from your life. I feel that I heard expiration date. Some of you guys, and I'm, this is also for Pisces women, some of you guys have overstayed your expiration date when it comes to a particular person, place, or thing in your life, okay? I was already damn itching. I had to put my glasses on. I'm a little sensitive about my allergy eye, okay? My eyes sitting on me. One of them is a little low. And the other one is all bean. So I'm over here looking like sugar bear daughter. And I don't like it. Let's get it. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the two of diamonds with the queen of spades. Okay, so some of you guys need to make this. Some of you guys have to, are, are going to have to make a decision between um, an air sign and a fire sign individual. Okay, for some of you all this has to do with two things that you're passionate about. Some of you guys could have been at your job for quite some time. You're in this space where you're feeling as if you're needing more. You're needing to be challenged. Some of y'all hate y'all fucking job. And you're getting the opportunity to open your own business based on the resources that you've been receiving and information that you've been receiving from people um, or communications that were kind of coming in between August and September. So for some of you all, you're in this space of needing to jump out there and take this leap of faith and y'all asses is holding on like a fucking kid who is finna get a little spanking. Honey, y'all is holding on like, no, I don't want it. Even though you really do want it out of this fear of your own success and fear, or for that matter, Matter, this mental limitation of how far you can really actually go. Some of you all pump the brakes on yourself and there's opportunities presenting themselves and you like, whoa, wait the fuck a minute. I keep hearing rags to riches. Okay, so for some of you all, you're literally experiencing some type of miracle during this time that's taking you out of a situation. Some of you guys are having to close doors and it's not and it's like you're choosing to see the 3D view, see from a 3D viewpoint of why you have to close the door because you're looking at all that has been invested emotionally, spiritually, physically. But I feel like for some of you all, and mentally, I feel like for some of you all, this has to do with um, you being tested with that past life. I, is fucking Pluto going direct? Yeah, what's what's going on with Pluto? Because I know that affects past life energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if I see this uh the death card in here a few times, but I do see um situations, um, relationships, um, attachments to other people being laid to rest. And it's for your highest good, Pisces. You don't see it now, but it's moving you one step closer to where it is that you've envisioned yourself for quite some time. This is why you've done the work. So you're needing to for once make a damn decision to choose you or for that matter balance out if you're already in a long term relationship. Be able to find the balance in not only just pouring into your partner's dreams, your partner's aspiration, but that of your own because some of you all are in a mental space beating yourself up during this time on, on woulda, coulda, shouldas because somebody is not wanting to march to the tune of your drum or support you in the way that you'd like them to. But it's weird really saying don't perceive it that way because just like you have a dream, this person has a dream and you can't be mad at this person for being more ambitious, ambitiously focused um, on their dream. For some of you all, I'm hearing self-made. So for some of you all, you could be self-made. You could be dealing with someone that's self-made. And I feel like some of you guys are in this space of feeling as if, or feeling as if you're being judged either by your partner um, for you wanting to stand up for your damn self and finally speak up on what it is that you want. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. That puppy ass came up in here yet again. He was chasing the shadows and canceled video. I cut that shit out. So if he cut it up. In Pisces video, and I, y'all know, I shit it down. Straight mama mode, real quick. Zero to a hundred. So we ain't doing that with people in, okay? So, so your messages you guys got, a lot of you all are, some of you guys are, okay. Some of you are someone from your past, okay, who could have triggered your actual awakening. They could have been a catalyst to your awakening. Someone who actually, who triggers the darker side of you. Some of you all are needing to make a decision on traveling forward okay on the path of the unknown toward your path of being a light worker toward your path of this spiritual um alignment that you've been trying to uh, bring into fruition within within self some of you all this path is going to bring so much beauty here with this butterfly here some of you all may be seeing a lot of butterflies dragonflies during this time okay some of you all also may be experiencing encounters with white birds doves um I don't know if they have white pigeons, but this looks like some white pigeons. I don't know if you got white pigeons where you at. Let me know. All right. Some of you all also may be um, 
in this space. I'm hearing forgiveness. Some of you all may be in a dark space when it comes to a matter of forgiving someone because you may feel strongly from this space of the ego that, you know, why the fuck would I forgive somebody? And they knew what the fuck they was doing to hurt me. But Spirit is saying forgive them for you, not the other person, because that is what's blocking you from moving forward. And it's keeping you in this space of feeling this sense of darkness, okay? Some of you all are also needing to cut the etheric cords when it comes to dealing with some type of soul tie that could have been karmic from your past. This could have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys, it's an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I heard Taurus very strongly. Some of you guys, I actually heard Capricorn. Haven't laid the cards, but we're going to clarify when I do. Some of you all, you're, you're going through a rebirth. You're going through an awakening in the month of October. You're focusing on yourself. You're experiencing this very peace and, peaceful and serene transformation. Some of you guys, I keep hearing rising out of the ashes. For some of y'all, somebody, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to resonate with a few of you all. Somebody left your ass for dead. And you and, and, and you are rising out of the ashes as the phoenix that you are, and you taking flight real quick. And a lot of people are gonna be mad at you, Pisces. So you're gonna have to learn how to go. This time is a this is a time for you all to go inward and tie up any loose ends when it comes to um, the element of like healing any type of um, karmic cycles that you may be continuously attracting, even if it's a particular behavior in a, in individuals that you attract. You are the asset to that change. And so it's time to act accordingly, but you find the answers to everything that you're looking outside of yourself for. Some of you guys are still watching too many fucking tarot readings. They said, stop it. The answer comes within you. And then when these things are revealed, it's shit that you already knew. So you'd be mad like a motherfucker that you set up and waited on somebody's damn video when you was already knowing. Spirit is saying you're, leading, you're needing to trust your inner self. Some of you all also may be in... Um, some of y'all, oh gosh, Pisces, who are you, who are y'all in? Some of y'all may think you're crazy because you're inheriting the gift of their audience, okay? Some of you guys may have a strong attraction to um, artifacts or some type of, I don't know who's the, what's the name of the dragon deity. You guys have to come up with some, somebody's researching some type of deity attached to dragons when it comes to matters of uh, finances and abundance and whatever you're doing, baby, is going to pay off in a massive way because that is actually what's bringing in this opportunity. A lot of you guys are going to be noticing your ability to speak things into existence, your ability to visualize things into existence. So be very, very cautious with your thoughts and your words because, again, that for some of you all, you're going to realize is what's been keeping you stagnant. Hmm. For some of you all who are dealing with any type of legalities, I do feel that things are definitely going to go in your favor. Things will be balanced out. If you're going to court when it comes to matters with children or involving children, things will be actually balanced out. Um, there's gonna, I'm hearing negotiations, so there will be some type of healthy negotiation. I do feel that whoever the other party is that you're going to court with, for some of you guys, I'm hearing four. So some of y'all, this could have to do with four people. I also heard a civil suit. Somebody could have towed somebody's fucking car up and for some of you all, the proof um <laughs> call is a bitch. Some of y'all someone could have vandalized your vehicle or did something like for some of y'all I'm hearing strongly vandalized vehicle. But some of you guys could have also had someone to like take something from you. This could have been a group or a clique of like three to four people. The clique is falling the fuck apart, and somebody wants blood for somebody else in the clique, the main motherfucker who did it to you. <clears throat> so either this person is going to do that to this person, or there may be some type of a revelation. Somebody, somebody, some of y'all even getting tagged on social media with somebody spilling somebody else's fucking beans, which is going to be very beneficial to you in a civil case. Um, so y'all better get y'all motherfucking screenshot ready. <laughs> get your screenshot babies ready. Because for some of you all, somebody is literally um, giving some type of uh, essential information out of malice or out of anger um, towards another person or hell for some of y'all towards your ass um, on face I heard Facebook for some of you all this has to do with Twitter okay um, for some of you all this could also be they said for Pisces moon so this is my point um, if you have a Pisces moon or a Venus 
there's some type of truth that's going to be coming out regarding family ties, family assets. Maybe something was hidden from you or taken from you. Things are going to be balanced out in your favor. There will be revelation of this. If there's already revelation of it, I feel like you have an inner knowing. But maybe you've just been waiting and sitting and waiting patiently for something to come about. Spirit is saying that information will be coming forth. Uh, that situation will be balanced out and it will work in your favor. Some of you guys are also... Um, some of you guys are learning. Hmm. Some of you guys are learning just very divinely with the co-creation of spirit, and in doing so, you're able to manifest very rapidly. And I keep hearing harvest. Okay, I'm also um, seeing very strongly in my third eye, God is my eye. So you guys may be connecting, or this may have to do with karma or dharma, but I'd say karma. Um, karma can be good or bad. And I'm hearing I'm, I'm hearing the seeds that you've laid, the seeds the seeds that you the seeds that you've laid. So for some of you all, you, there could be a recognition, or there could be some type of unseen assistance coming forth for your past efforts or your past generosity to someone else when they were in a darker space or in a space of being less fortunate. <clears throat> And for some of you all, this has to do with tying up loose ends when it comes to balancing out a situation for closure, when it comes to dealing with a karmic situation, a karmic partner or a karmic um, work job situation or um, a karmic relationship of some sort. This has to do with some type of tie to another individual, person, place, or thing. But I definitely feel something is being moved out of the way for something more divine to fall into place in your life. So some of you all could actually be meeting um, the love of your fucking life during this time and you're having a hard time letting this person in and letting your walls down because you still need to go within and find that balance for you when you want a situation to be balanced or someone to give you the sense of closure. What the fuck are we doing? Are we going to build or are we going to fucking break the motherfucking boat down? What are we doing? Because I'm Pisces. I'm going to tell you who won't drown is me. I'm a fish. Damn it. Okay. So let's get it. What call is talking about this? My old face. So let's dig in when it comes to love. Some of you all also may be uh, mending your relationship with your mother or coming to some type of acceptance that um, someone just is who they are. And you can't change that, but you can change the way that you deal with them or the access that you give them into your life, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with a sister, but it's definitely a female figure, okay? This could also have to do with a friend. Somebody wants uh, somebody's friend who could be a Leo, Aries. Another Scorp uh what's well, another it could be a Scorpio. Some of you guys this could be a cat. Somebody wants to reconcile with you and you you're looking back on how far you've come. And they they pretty much this person's <laughs> this person's bad don't outweigh they good. Some of y'all feel like somebody is a fucking uh fuck shit magnet. I heard it. Fuck fuck shit magnet. And this could be a, a a friend or a relationship, and you just tired. Some of you guys are releasing someone for their own toxic ties that they still have to clear out. That someone's trying to, I heard escapism, so somebody could be trying to run away from their karmic debts. <clears throat> and spirit is moving you out the way, Pisces. Okay. So spirit, what messages do you have for my type? Whoa, okay. So some of you guys could be dealing with the water sign from your past. Some of you guys, this has to do with the past life relationship, okay. Some of you guys could be moving away from this uh, person, place, or thing. Some of you guys actually could also, have, who was having financial issues in the past, I do see you moving away from that, okay. Some of you guys could be moving away from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who you have children with. I feel like you just really wanted to focus on yourself. It has to do with harsh communication. Someone is traveling towards you, Pisces, to reconcile. Someone wants to actually um, mend some type of family. Yeah, mend some type of family tie. This person has been watching the shit out of you. They could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. Someone feels left out of the family. They want to renew a situation, and it is stressing you to fuck out. This person could be reaching out to you. Uh, for some of you, I'm, I'm here in the third week of October. For some of you, all, this could also be the, some of y'all. This could be fucking today. Somebody, some of y'all could be receiving some type of communication. From someone who could also be a Leo. <clears throat> someone feels guilty for what they did, what they didn't do in the past. They see you with new eyes. I'm here in Pisces. For some of you all, you have a Capricorn towards Virgo that wants to come and bring fairness to a situation. They want to come offer you assistance, offer you some type of help. 
And Pisces, this is a time for you not to be prideful because you being prideful is going to stand in the way of you becoming this independent nine of pentacles energy. A lot of you all are in this independent nine of pentacles energy. And I feel like with you being and feeling more so independent, you're ready to um, offer your heart to somebody, but you want to give little by little. I'm here and let them, let them actually extend the offer and let them, act, let them show you Pisces. Do not overextend and do not adapt to someone else's way to bring them comfort when you uncomfortable you finding yourself juggling your emotions in this space of how the hell are you gonna say this because you don't want to hurt nobody feel been there done that wrote the damn book got the t-shirt you ain't tired yet <laughs> somebody is motherfucking tired around here somebody is indecisive when it comes to either walking away from a situation possibly with someone who has some type of codependency issues on alcohol some of y'all dealing with an earth sign virgo i heard who drink too fucking much this person is um some of you guys could also feel as like if they spend too much fucking money on getting high getting drunk getting fucked up some of y'all it's a water sign cancer pisces scorpio and for some of you all okay some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of gemini they could be using some type of magic to do some type of come to me, come uh, come to me spell on your ass, Pisces. Protect your energy. For some of y'all, it's a Leo. And some of y'all, there's an Aquarius person that is attached to a Leo. There's also a Libra that is attached to a Taurus that is trying to prevent some type of union from coming into fruition. This person could be going outside and paying somebody. I do feel like some of this will be revealed to you in a dream space, okay? For some of y'all, you could also find out that the person... <clears throat> I'm hearing misjudge. Some of you guys could have misjudged the situation or misjudged or misperceived the person based on their actions towards you, which you perceived it as abandonment. But some of y'all are going to find out that someone was trying to keep you out of the way from somebody who was fucking crazy. But they, they made that bed, so they had to lie in it, okay? For some of you all, after light is shed on the situation, for some of y'all, this could have to do with the Sagittarius, what I just said. Or an Aquarius person. Some of y'all is having to do with a Scorpio or a Virgo. Somebody's popping the question during this time. Possibly to an Aquarius. Come through, Pisces. Somebody's getting an offer of engagement during this time. Others of you could be finding out. Uh, be careful if you do not want to. Be careful with reconciling with your child's mother, child's father. And being so... Um, caught up in this passionate energy because you guys both feel the same. I feel like this is a no contact and from this is like a con no contact intensity that I feel. Two people who were manifesting the same thing, which was some type of reconciliation or some type of unity or harmony within the family or the family structure in order to break a cycle. I feel like you're gonna get what you want, but don't don't be be careful trying to uh be in this hot and heated ass energy and then pop up like bam and then be re-triggered with the fear that this person is going to leave. I do feel that if someone is coming in to reconcile a family situation, for some of you all, this person is coming in for closure because you've been ready to move to a whole new cycle in your life. For some of you all, you may just up and move to a, to another space. I'm feeling the element of time. Someone wants to resurrect the situation before they run out of time. Pisces. Some of you all are dealing with the water. Yeah. Some of you guys could also um, be dealing with the sign of Aries. Okay. I feel like you and this person, they want, they're, there's some type of commitment that wants to be had. Or some of you all wants to move your relationship to a higher level of commitment with this person. But there's a fear of being rejected. There's a fear of also building. Giving, yeah. Some of you guys. Yeah. There's a fear of also being rejected. Some of you guys, this person could be juggling you and another person and they're needing to make a decision possibly between you and another water sign or you and another, you and another fire sign. I feel like for some of you all, this person, some of y'all, this person is going to choose you, you and your damn head for nothing. And for some of you all, I do see this person leaving behind the past and starting something new, possibly with another water sign. So for Pisces, that would mean for some of y'all, you're not going to get chose, but you're not getting chose in this situation because you're, this is a part of your transformation. And also a push off the damn cliff, just like Cancer. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio as well. Some of you all, there's some type of transformative energy around some type of divine partnership with an Aries person after someone has undergone some type of
somebody is going through a dark night of the soul, either you or another person. This could also have to do with an Aquarius. But I definitely see a renewal in love that looks beautiful. But I feel like you and another person both have to go through this this both have to go through this phase of recognition for one of the actual union. Being able to both of you at being able to recognize it. Learning how to trust yourself and not self sabotage because that's when you guys mirror one another. Some of you guys are some of you guys could be finding out that you're pregnant by somebody who's already in a committed relationship who told you that they were going to leave the situation. And I feel like this person could have ghosted you. This person could be a Capricorn, Pisces, Libra, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini. Look at everybody here to dance in the party. <clears throat> Some of you all are juggling if you should have the baby spirit is saying yes. The baby is a blessing. And the baby is part of the Star Seed Collective and the baby will be a genius. The baby's life has woke, and the baby is a faded healer. So yes, it's a catalytic situation to walk you into this knowing, this embracing, this honing, this mastery of the self. Who the motherfucking empress? You the motherfucking empress? The fuck? It's time to adjust your crown, sis, and act accordingly. Okay. So for some of you all. Some of y'all is going to be renewing a situation with a tourist. Some of y'all is dealing with a tourist who's a hoe, okay? And I feel like you're going to choose to offer this new cup of love or this cup of love and take it slow, possibly with accepting an offer, a re-offer from a damn Leo who couldn't get right at first. But this person got their ass whooped by the universe a little bit and they want to come back and start something new with you, Pisces. And for some of you all who want children and who couldn't get pregnant by this earth sign or by this fire sign, it's because it's meant for you to do so, possibly with someone that's coming in new. Hmm? Possibly a new Taurus, a new Leo, a Libra, someone who you could also be reconciling with, who could have, who could be moving to where you are. It's no coincidence. It's faded by the universe. So go with the flow instead of trying to control the flow. You the water. Who you think we learn that shit from? Y'all ass. All right. For some of you all, um, a situation will be balanced when it comes to dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you guys have a new earth sign in your life and it looks very beautiful for some of you all you are this person's empress this person is your emperor it's fated for um you guys to come together i feel like this person was in this space of being i heard set down set down set down for this for the sense of humbling but there will be positive news of forward movement um i also heard incarceration there could be positive news about someone possibly being incarcerated early, okay? So, you guys, this is what I have for you all. Um, some and For some of y'all, that damn Scorpio want to work it out. They ain't got no fucked up intentions. Let them in, Pisces. Quit acting like this. Quit. And, and, and you ain't hiding this shit here. But some of you all, you're dealing with a damn air sign. The reason why you're defensive against this person is because they sneaky as fuck. Trust yourself. You know what you know. I said what I said, okay? So, if you need a personal reading, you guys, hit me up. Um, I'm, well, I ain't gonna lie, I'm free now, but next week is going to be extremely hectic, um, because I am going to be in the studio and recording. Um, I'm also trying to plan an event. I'm going to go live more about the event, so I'm not going to talk about it, um, too much here. Um, but you guys, I got big teams happening in the month of October and I'm trying to incorporate big teams. I'm going to have to actually hire on some damn help. I need help now because movement is taking place and just smooth sailing so i love you all so very much i send you all peace blessings much abundance much healing nothing but positive shit hey get y'all some of this and shake them haters off all right protect yourself because some of y'all got folks doing company spills they they uh, uh, oh. i went there i did because that's what i seen so for some of y'all put your block up Gotta get your X-Men on, alright? Love you, fishy babies. Bye, boo, bye. <laughs>